上集呢，我们说到啊 ，Doctor K 啊遭遇到一个胡子男的碰瓷，在现场呢高唱《义勇军进行曲》滚。滚开！滚开！滚开 ！Which means fuck off。Doctor K 呢和支持他的民众呢，也用他以往的钢琴的方式进行了反击。但是当这一切结束之后呢？这名胡子男啊和 Doctor K 还有拍摄的 Louis 啊，并没有走，他们呢还进行了一场激烈的辩论。C6, they declared the cultural revolution, so they they expelled the colonial um influence on the military, political, and economic power, but they still had the white man in their minds. So they 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 created a cultural revolution, the Great Proletarian Cultural Revolution, to have a revival of native Chinese culture. 那这又是怎么回事呢？他们到底辩论了什么东西呢？欢迎大家来到我们好好谈谈。我是主持人威廉。那我们现在开始。辩论的一开始啊，双方的情绪啊都非常的缓和。Doctor K 呢也称赞胡子男，说啊你你的表现真让我吃惊，没有几个人会唱《中华人民共和国歌歌》，你居然真的会唱，唱的还非常准确。You, No, 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 it's not. It's it's a hobby for me. The Victorian 1800s was is known in history as the China's century of humiliation. Okay. And the sanctions, they lost the Opium sure. War.、Um, they had to concede Hong Kong to right, Britain as、right. a reparation. So、okay. Hong Kong became a colonial possession. Okay. And they paid loads and loads of money as reparations, and it left them in massive sure, poverty. Sure, sure, sure. Right. Sure. And、um, and they were subjected to. Uh, oppression by the Western sure, colonialists,、uh, just as much of the world was, as India had trillions but, but, of dollars extricated from it. I think that's it. true, but the, the, the eight-nation alliance、okay. of the main global colonial powers,、okay. and so on. Now, in 1949, China, the People's Republic of China, declared independence, and through the Civil War, they drove out the Japanese barbaric Nazis、um, and the Western colonialists, the yoke of foreign oppression. And they created an independent Chinese republic and a state. 听到这里呢，我就知道我之前的担心啊是完全多余的。Doctor K 呢，虽然对这段历史不是这么了解，但是他也知道个大概，毕竟他也有英语言文学博士的学历，对中华人民共和国的成立历史呢，他还是非常了解的。所以当胡子男提到1949年建国的时候 ，Doctor K 不禁插嘴了：“是毛泽东建的国吗？”那 ，Why 1949？ 1949。Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like they, they killed, the they, they, they kind of killed a lot of people and stuff. Like, I don't like that. that I, well, I, I, don't, I don't think it's like as simple as that, you know. Well, well, regardless, I'm not trying to make a political point here. Well, My, like, the great leap forward, the cultural well, revolution. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean I, I if you'll bear with me, I think you will appreciate the point、deaths. that I'm making. Yeah, yeah, hold, hold on, one thing at a time. Fifty million deaths, man. Just no, no, no. That's that. Those numbers are nonsense.、Um, are they? I would dispute those numbers. However. Yeah. I would say no, no, no. But what, what, what I'm trying to say, yeah, I'm just, I'm not saying it's true or it's、yeah. false. I'm just saying. 这一段三方都有介入，但是呢，胡子男呢还是继续说了下去。毛泽东发动文革呀，实际上是为了恢复古老的中华文明，让古老的中华文明得到复兴。As far as the Chinese history is concerned,、right. you had the military, 
political yeah. and economic revolution. Right. And in 1966, they declared the cultural revolution. Okay. So they, they expelled the colonial um, influence on the military, political and economic power, but they still had the white man in their minds. So they, they, they created a cultural revolution, the great proletarian cultural revolution, to have a revival of native Chinese culture in the arts and culture. 胡子男说到这里呢 ，Doctor K 啊就完全忍不住了，说你这完全是在胡说八道。That's absolutely incorrect. There's one thing I do know,、mm-hmm. and that's one thing I've got a major issue with.、Mm-hmm. We can agree about the the the, the humiliation of China. Okay, I can understand uh-huh, that. Uh-huh. But what I what I, what I have learned is because I'm a musician,、uh-huh. this concept that the Chinese communists were actually responsible for a great flowering of traditional Chinese culture is absolute nonsense. In fact, what they did, as far as I know, they actually cut out all the traditionists. All the traditional Chinese culture, all the, even today,、uh, you can't look at the traditional、uh, Chinese music, traditional songs, traditional melodies, traditional meditation practices. Not that I agree with them.、Um, they're all about controlling, micro-controlling. Doctor K 啊，在这里啊，没有用历史知识进行反驳，很可能他对中国文革的这一段的细节不是很了解，但是他用自己亲身对抗小粉红的经历，对胡子男的说法。提出了否定。When they were here at the piano, I actually experienced that firsthand. Man, they were very, very authoritarian. Well, those guys were, as you know, I said before, you, you those guys are utter idiots. You can't have culture in an authoritarian environment. Yes, you know the Nazis. I'm sure produced some nice pictures and some nice. That's fine, but you know, my point、sure、wasn't about it, China or the CCP. My point was about myself. Okay, was the fact that so, so, I'm, I'm into the CCP, right? I don't like this. This that they're great for the arts. I don't agree with that. Well, Doctor K 呢是个英国人。他应该对纳粹的历史是比较知道的，所以在他的脑子里啊，可以把纳粹的专制、打压和控制言论的行动跟 CCP 的联系在一起，这使得胡子男有些尴尬。如果大家看了上集啊，这小子也是个碰瓷的高手，他就转了一个策略，他说：“我不是说什么 CCP 什么政治观点，我只是说我自己的爱好。”那他想说这一段的目的呢，就是说这是艺术，是个人喜好，这是我的言论自由。你虽然不同意我的看法，但是你不能不让我说。如果你不让我说，就是打压我的言论自由。他想把这个话题往这上面来引，最终激怒 Louis 或者是 Doctor K， 然后他就可以借此出名。I'm, they may not be great for the arts,、no. but regardless, what do you think, Louis? I don't think in my the look, art. think arts is a subjective thing. It's about taste, but but. In, I had a period where I got well into the music of the Cultural Revolution, and there was a lot of nice music that came out of that that I quite appreciated. Yeah, but it's propaganda. My point is, I had a hobby. Listen, the problem about of,、um, the Chinese patriotic music. The problem with the patriotic music, I understand that it has its own unique aesthetic value. Very bright and cheerful. Yeah, the problem is it is totally propagandistic. That is the problem. For example, if you if you see the communist art and those pictures, you can say yes, it's a, a, an interesting iconography. But look at the message behind it. For example, I, I'm sure I could produce a very nice swastika, and it could be all beautiful, and we could admire it. But I'm sure the message behind that it would be absolutely anathema to most people. You could say, "Oh, the beautiful patriotic music, the beautiful symbols." Yes, but look at the message behind it. Fifty million deaths. I don't think so.、Um, anyway, sorry, I'm not buying it, mate.、I'm、my whole, my whole point was just that. I, I, I... Now, Doctor K 呢，在这儿用一大段连珠炮式的说话，完全。把胡子男给驳斥了，但是胡子男呢？我还说过，他是想来碰瓷的，他还是说这只是我的个人喜好和个人观点，不管你怎么联系纳粹。我就是喜欢这些歌曲。I'm not buying it. It's a hobby of mine. That's what I was trying to say. I was keeping the background. I have a hobby. I personally quite enjoy the Chinese patriotic music. At one time, I did. I learned a lot of it. Well, we can speak about what cost. I mean, you're talking about millions what, of deaths, what, what, tens of millions listen, of deaths. Listen, what would you say? What would you say to people like Brian Ferry, who said that he really liked the Nazi aesthetic, who really liked the Nazi films, really liked the Nazi? You,、uh, you could say, okay, great. I can appreciate it for its what it sounds, but the, the message behind that is not very positive. And it's the same with the patriotic stuff from the Communist Party. It has its own aesthetic value, but at the cost of what? You know, well, what is the cost? The cost, well, fifty million deaths. Then, he found a loophole. He said, "You say, in the Civil War, there were 5,000 people killed. What number is this?" 
Do you get that number from? Because I always heard it was 60 million. Do you believe that number then? What do you think it is? Well, I've often, much more often, I've mostly, I've most often heard 60 million. 60 million? Um, Okay, so that's more. Yeah, 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 but I've never heard 50 million before. Well, but, 60, um, I mean, Lewis is the expert, you know, no, but I don't think any patriotic... But I don't, I don't accept 60 million. I mean, what, 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 you just should say a number, but you need to describe the number and what it, it, it refers to. What 60 million are you referring to? When- 这时候，路易啊就问他：“既然你说是六千万，甚至更多，那这个数字是从哪儿来的呢？”没想到啊，这个胡子男啊，对这些事情啊，还真的研究过。Did it come from then? Um, I think it mainly came from a man named Frank de Cotter, who's a Dutch professor of history at、um, SOAS around the corner from here, and、um, he、uh, wrote a book called I don't even remember what it was called. But、um, there was a lot of dishonesty. And if you read the book and you work out and you look inside the book, because that's where everyone gets the number sixty million from.、Um, There's a lot of dishonesty. There is a lot of dishonesty and、uh, so、mathematical and pro- dishonesty. And pro- and pro- Dr. Kina. 这时候啊，就认为啊，在这个数字上纠缠呢、啊，没有任何的意义。他就又重新把话题拉回到了宣传上面。I mean, if art is used to brainwash people, if art is used to change your paradigm so that you support the CCP, sometimes it's used to make people more inspired for for a cause and yeah, united. And what, yeah, but you can't criticize that government. You know, that government does not allow any. Influence that it doesn't control. It's a control freak. The CCP. Oh yeah, there, there's a lot of control in China, and and, and I don't really appreciate that. My point was just that. Well, I don't. I have a hobby of Chinese patriotic music, and mind you, mind you, the patriotic music is mostly old patriotic music from the 1950s and 60s. I mean, as I said, that's like saying. As I said, for me, that's like saying, well, I've got a hobby of collecting Nazi memorabilia. All right, fine, but like, you know what I mean? You know, I wouldn't go on about it too much. I mean, you talk about patriotic music being a thing from the past, but there's still patriotic. Songs today. Yeah, a mean, lot just, of them are banned. Just, a lot of them are banned in the, in China today.、Um, you know, there's been a rewriting of history、um, in at varying levels in the last few decades,、um, specifically the last four decades or so.、Um, and. Then, uh, Louis and Doctor K, ah, do recognize that this red paint can be unable to speak coherently. The logic is very confused. Then Louis, ah, just ends the dialogue. 结束在这里了，因为再谈下去没有任何意义了。Any, anyway, this, this conversation could go on forever. Yeah, um, but yeah, appreciate it, John. Thank you. All right, have a good day, mate. You too. 这场小小的辩论呢，中间非常激烈，但最后好像给了大家一个无疾而终的感觉。确实，我也同意。如果我在现场，再跟这位胡子男辩论下去，又将成为一场闹剧。所以说，对路易和 Doctor K 的选择呢，我觉得是非常明智的。那上次的节目做完之后呢，胡子男高唱了《义勇军进行曲》，有些观众啊在下面留言说：“这位会唱中国国歌的老外真帅。”确实，在国外你碰到会唱中国歌曲，甚至会说中国话的老外，你都会觉得非常的惊讶。但是你知道，《义勇军进行曲》早就在1940年就被美国著名的。男中音歌唱家 Paul Robeson 演唱过吗？不但演唱过，还冠制过唱片。那时候这首歌还不叫《义勇军进行曲》，它是一九三五年五月在中华民国上海市上映的华语电影《风云儿女》的主题歌。而它的来源呢，据说是改编自反满抗日《义勇军进行曲》。起来，起来，起来！而在 Paul Robeson 唱这首歌的时候，这首歌曾经是中国抗日战争时期的国民党革命军第两百师的军歌。而且，在1942年的远征缅甸的战场，有些部队也是唱着这首歌奔赴了前线。那在1940年这一年呢，美国著名的男中音歌手 Paul Robeson 经过他中国的朋友，也是著名的指挥家刘良摩的推荐。把这首歌收录到他当时发布的一个叫《美国之歌》的专辑当中。当时这首歌的名字还叫《起来》。当时 Paul Robeson 因为知道了中国人民在抵抗日本侵略军，特意录了此专辑，表达对中国人民的敬意和支持。他还为了这个专辑排练了好久的中文。那 Doctor K 和这个胡子男的这场辩论呢，还提到了一个非常有趣的问题：艺术作品。
，一首歌曲能不能脱离意识形态的存在，让人只在艺术的方面去欣赏它呢？这个问题我觉得非常有意思。那大家怎么认为呢？请在下面留言告诉我们。那在节目的最后呢，咱们就一起听听他来演唱的这首《起来》。所努力的人们，把我们的血肉组成我们新的长城。中华民族到了最危险的时候，每个人被迫着发出最好的号声。起来，起来，起来！我们万众一心，冒着地上的炮火前进，冒着地上的炮火前进，前进，前进，进。Arise, you who refuse to be bond slaves. Let's stand up and fight for liberty and true democracy. All our world is facing the chains of a tyrant. Everyone who works for freedom is now crying. Arise, arise, arise! All of us with one heart, with the torch of freedom. March on with the torch of freedom. March on, march on, march on and on. Chile, who you and so nobly ran, man, by woman's hero, to chant woman's sing the chant chant. Chinese people have reached the most dangerous time. 每个人被迫着发出最好的号声，起来，起来，起来！我们万众一心，冒着地上的炮火前进，冒着地上的炮火前进，前进，前进，进。这就是今天我们的节目，欢迎来到我们好好谈谈，我是主持人威廉，我们下期再见。